So we're back. Mine's over there still playing with the uh, jack over there. And before I started recording, I actually adjusted the battery a little more and actually cut this little front part out just so I can kind of just flip the battery in. and I'll probably just put a strap around it just to hold it in place. And as you guys saw, we got the power steering working. So we have electric power steering now. It's right there. I still got to like finalize all the, the wires right here and kind of just like fix up the the looming that i did so today's video will be us installing the heat back into the car now i'm gonna kind of give you guys a rundown of what my plan is so i have some line here that i bought probably got like i don't know i want to say 10 feet so this line is actually i think 10 a.m and i got a couple fittings to go along with it now uh if you guys don't know my car i actually capped off the back right here and there's two fittings that we need to remove there's one on the uh, thermostat and one on the back here yeah so we're gonna start with the heat today kind of just see where we're gonna place it um, another piece to the puzzle that I got well two more pieces is this fitting right here that I got from track tough and I'll put the information down below in the description so I got this fitting this is the one that's gonna go on the back of the the, the engine and then this one's gonna go on a thermostat and I'll show you guys how to install this stuff. So again, guys, I'm just gonna be putting heat back in the car and I'm gonna walk you guys through it. I'm gonna try and do it a cleaner way than it comes factory. So yeah, let's go ahead and, and get started. Here's the kit that we have, the uh, K-Tune power steering and AC kit. We're gonna be putting AC back in the car, so we gotta put the, where is it? I got a mess in here. But we're gonna be putting this back, and then there's this bracket I gotta put back, and this is gonna hold the starter or the alternator, I don't know. Wait, I don't really remember. I'll figure it out as I go along. Pretty much we're gonna remove this, take the belt off, uh, remove the whole kit, put the AC back where it was, alternator where it was and then put the ep3 pulley thing up there um this is the other fitting right here i was talking about for the uh heat it's a k-tune like fitting thing i don't know and it just blocks it just blocks that off it's a little block off and then there's another one on the back that i showed you as i go along i'll explain you guys what i'm doing and hopefully it'll maybe clear something up for you guys and maybe you guys can do the same Um, yeah, we got the fitting on. I put that bolt back on that I took off. And everything's nice and tight. I mean, 
The tie wire wasn't easy to put on, but it was pretty simple. I had to drill another hole up above it because I drilled it too low, as you guys can probably see that. Um, I was just test fitting the Vibrant um, fitting nine. I think it's a, yeah, 90 right here. And that's the way the new um, heater hose is gonna go. Oh, mine got the alternator. Nice. So we just gotta, I don't know if we're gonna get to that today because I'm just gonna focus on the heater stuff, but he's got the alternator over there, which is nice. Let's go take a look at what he did. So the motor looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it got damaged at all. But the plan is to get the other RSX out of here, um, store it away, and then push this one to that corner, part it out, take all the parts that are actually valuable. With this car, I think we, we will have enough just parting this car out. Um, we'll have enough just to um, build the Civic with. And it's just gonna be a little budget build. Um, it's my first time doing it. Mine don't know much and I don't know a lot either. So I, I don't pretend to know everything. I just like, I don't know. I put the RSX together, it went good. And then I just learned, man. I learned by myself and just reading on forums and just uh, asking people on Instagram and kind of just learned like that, man, on the fly. Pulling this out would be very easy because I did it to that one. We did it to the EK. So putting it back in would be pretty easy as well. we left off with us coming out of here going around the side I still haven't really thought or I still don't have an idea how I'm gonna clamp this down yet and then on the back side just to give you guys an update uh, I plan on keeping this thing going and this is probably gonna go up against the firewall like that it was a little tricky because I kind of got to keep it off the firewall this right here would hit your firewall if I don't like make it come off the firewall a little bit like if I didn't put this bracket here this right here will hit the firewall so um that's gonna kind of sit like that and uh yeah so i got that on there you guys saw that this little fitting here i'm gonna come out straight and then i'm gonna come into the other side of this right here and then this should be done possibly spray a little black paint on this just to make it look better and then clamp this down and i probably will get some nicer uh clamps this uh doesn't look too good right here but I'll come back and fix it. It's not a big deal. Later. All right, so here's the final update. Uh, mine's still here. <laughs> We're still here. It's about maybe an hour later. We actually mounted the little heater thing right here. And we used, I forget what these this thing is called. I forget the name for everything, but it's one of these, uh, one of these things, I don't know. And it looks all fuzzy and stuff because I, I need to put some, um, I'm actually gonna put a uh, heat shrink over this. Heat shrink on this side, heat shrink there and there. Do that and then clamp it down. Clamp one, two, three, four. And then the rest of them have fittings. So there's how that came out. And then the fitting down here is all set. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna triple check everything, make sure everything's good. And that should be it for, uh, for heat. So I spent about maybe another hour messing around with this because I don't know, man. I'm just like really picky and I want it to come out looking pretty good, even though they're heater hoses. But like, I don't know. I just wanted it to come out really nice. And I put heat shrink right here on all the uh, ends just so it looks a lot neater. Um, I plan on clamping maybe this to like maybe one of these bolts or something. I'm probably going to get some of those double hose clamps that clamp them kind of like together. And I might put one here, like right between these two, 
and then one more over there it'll look it'll look better once i'm done with this so i just gotta order those clamps and then that should help neat that up and hopefully get some nicer uh hose clamps as well yeah so the heat is officially done i just gotta i'm probably gonna paint this little blue wire whatever that's called um probably paint it black it's just plastic so um for now i'm just gonna hook it up just so it's on there uh, i'm gonna move on to the ac stuff next uh that shouldn't be too much work should be pretty easy i don't know if martin's gonna come i think he was supposed to be here like two hours ago today's friday and i don't know if he's gonna show up or not but um i'm gonna go ahead and clean this up this is the one he removed from the other rsx and it looks like this was replaced already but anyways let's start uh removing that see if i could actually get that off without having to remove the um, overflow but i think we will because the bolt is like super long probably like that long maybe i'll be able to take this one out and not actually have to remove this one and actually have enough room so i don't know we'll see how it goes a pain to get on honestly it was not easy but it is possible don't bolt this on until you get this this thing on and then before you bolt this on right the bolt that's on the bottom on the left hand side you got to make sure you have that on tighten the two bottom ones and then these will line right up so whatever i got it back on there now i'm just gonna work on the alternator um look at how clean this one is and look at how dirty my engine is All right, so just to catch you guys up, um, what you need for this, give you little parts and stuff that you need. So if you're gonna be keeping your AC and also uh, doing the uh, power steering. So once you got your um, EP3 uh, rack with the electric power steering going, right? And you get rid of the, uh, the little pump up top, you're gonna wanna get one of these K-Tune idler uh, EP3 things. I'll give you guys a part number here and what it's called. This thing will focus in. You don't need the belt because you're gonna have to get a different belt. So the belt you're gonna wanna buy is an OEM EP3 belt or if you wanna go a cheaper route because those belts go for like, I don't know, hundred and over $100. Uh, you could get a Gates and then that's the number right there. Um, you can remove this cover right here and this will help you get your belt on. So. You could actually reach in here and make sure it's all aligned and perfect. All right, so today's the next day. All that's left to do really is put the AC kit that I got from Devi and I'll put his uh, information down below in the description or on the screen somewhere. And this is the one I got. This is everything that I got. Um, I'm not really gonna show, I'm gonna try and show how to install it but it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm gonna figure it out as I go because some of these fittings, I don't really remember what goes where. So I'm gonna see what fits where and then I'll I'll just go from there. I'll just kind of just do it on the fly like I always do. Um, so yeah, here's the kit. Uh, these go to the firewall, I'm guessing, or yeah, I'll figure it out as I go.
All right, so it's been about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I haven't seen any more bubbles like coming up at all. So I think we're good. I checked all the fittings I put in. There's no leaks at all. Sorry for the noise if it's really loud, but I don't see any leaks at all. So uh, nothing on the back of the block, nothing underneath the manifold. There's nothing leaking underneath at all. So I think we're good. The only thing I gotta do now is get that last fitting that I need for the AC. Uh, I'll show you guys right now what I'm talking about. Uh, it's the fitting that goes right here. That's the one fitting that I'm missing. Let's go over here because it's quieter. You know what helped me? The fact that I already had my um, my coolant lines already done, the 16 AN ones. Like I knew none of that stuff was leaking. So we only changed two fittings and those are okay. I just got a few more things to do to this car, like in the engine bay area, just to clean it up a little nicer. But uh, I think we're there. I think we're probably like maybe 90% there and I don't have to mess with it for a while like I'm, I'm pretty happy with it where it is and a big thank you to martin for coming out here maybe like three days in a row and helping me out we we're here for hours just trying to get this done but yeah we're almost there um i'm gonna get the car out of here and store it away but yeah that's about it guys um my dad's gonna come out here and help me drive the car back to the storage unit because of that right there big thank you to everybody that supports the channel i appreciate that guys if you're new to the channel subscribe i have a lot of stuff that i want to show you guys that I'm still gonna be doing the RSX as well as like the EK, which is out there. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one, all right?